Does touching your receipts lower your testosterone? So, I know some of you guys are probably like, what the fuck? Like, what are you, what are you even talking about? Does touching receipts lower your testosterone? Well, the first time I heard it, that's kind of what I thought too, but there might actually be some evidence that suggests that touching like receipts, right? Receipts at stores, at the grocery store, at restaurants, whatever, actually might lower your test. When we talk about receipts, right, and receipt paper, and you know the the receipt you get from, you know, the grocery store when you're um, buying food, um, or the receipt at the, I don't know, wherever the fuck you get receipts. That's that's what I'm talking about. Receipt paper contains something called BPAs, and that what that is is what that stands for is bisphenol. A or bisphenol S. BPAs are mostly found in, you know, things like any really like plastic, like plastic containers, plastic uh, utensils, plastic, any really plastic shit is like has a uh, BPAs or BPS or whatever. But receipt paper, right? According to um, Google, and this, this shit, studies have found that individual thermal receipts can contain BPA that is 250 to 1,000 times greater than the amount in a canned food. So, right there, receipt paper, boom, contains a lot more BPAs than what we're used to, than the, what the human body is used to being exposed to. So what are BPAs? What are these things that I'm talking about, right? And how, how does it, how, how can it affect my testosterone? And how does it make me uh, ultimately lose gains, right? So that's a very good question and I'm gonna go over it. As I mentioned before, it's a chemical in plastics and it can be found in many products, right? Food and beverage, other products. And the FDA maintains that BPA is safe at current levels of exposure. So based on studies using standardized toxicity tests, however, some studies have linked BPA to health problems, including infertility, birth defects, childhood health problems, obesity, heart disease, and type two diabetes. But BPAs are also known to lower testosterone. So I looked this up, I literally just looked it up in Google, look up BPA lowers testosterone, and the AI overview on Google says, yes, BPA, bisphenol A, can reduce testosterone levels. So how does it do that? Well, it inhibits steroidogenesis. Um, I don't really know what that is. I know what steroid steroids are. I don't know what ogenesis is. Ogen yeah, that's how you say Ogenesis is. Uh, I don't know. Um, I know in Genesis means in the beginning or the beginning. Um, so the beginning of steroids, I think. That's what that means. Uh, something like that. I don't know. You know, I'm just I'm using context clues here. That's what that's what they taught me in school. My, my teachers always taught me in school. Um, but anyway. Yeah, so BPA binds to estrogen receptors in the testes, which can reduce the production of steroidogenic enzymes and testosterone. So there you guys have it right there. So BPAs, this shit actually lowers your testosterone. Well, it can. I mean, I guess at high amounts, yeah, it can lower testosterone. Um, at lower amounts, it's probably not going to, you know, make an impact but as I as we saw before, right, BPAs are, you know, 250 to 1,000 times more potent than, um, than the other stuff that contains BPAs. A receipt paper is more potent. So receipt paper is like the worst. So in terms of like BPAs, right, we have like other shit like you know plastics and that shit. And then at the top, the most, um, the thing that has the most BPAs is going to be receipt paper. So that's what can happen when you touch receipts. So I would honestly, 
I would avoid touching receipts just in general. There's really no reason why you should, I mean, unless you're gonna like return something or, or you think you might return something from the store or something like that. You shouldn't really, like, unless you have a reason to touch a receipt, I would honestly not touch it, right? Because it doesn't make sense. It's like, the, you know, you're risking, you know, losing tests just from touching or like it's it makes sense to just like just avoid it in general if you can now i mean if you need to touch a receipt you know i think that you know obviously if you need to like i i need receipts sometimes for like tax write-offs and shit like that so sometimes i'll like touch the receipt but if you don't need to touch the receipt just be like no thanks you know i'm good don't worry, like, don't worry, you know. So, yeah, that's what I would say. So this is like, you know, this isn't some crazy conspiracy theory here. Like, this is this is actually happening. It's actually true, right? So touching receipts, it does, in fact, lower your testosterone. It, well, I mean, it can, right? I mean, if you're if you're just doing it, unless you're touching them all over, I I don't think it's going to. I don't know. I mean, we'd have to do an experiment. That would be an interesting experiment, honestly. Just having one person who touches receipts and then the other who doesn't. Or have, like, maybe three people. Maybe one, like, touches receipts once a day. Um, one who doesn't touch receipts at all for a week. And then one who um, touches, like, a lot of receipts. Like, touches receipts, like... A couple times a day or something and see who who has like the highest test um that'll be interesting that'll be an interesting one but um yeah so there you guys have it i mean it it from what i can tell like you know it does actually affect testosterone levels um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway um be sure to drop a like um if you did uh let me know in the comments what do you think is this real? Is it fake? Am I just crazy or I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. Seriously.